so hello guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to make a bluetooth controlled car using raspberry pi so first i'm going to log in into my raspberry pi and i know the ip address of my raspberry pi and xrdp has been installed on it If you want to know how to do this, you can check out my video on how to set up your Raspberry Pi for beginners. And so as you can see, I've logged into my Raspberry Pi. If you haven't installed the libraries for using Bluetooth, you have to install them now. And type these commands. sudo apt slash get install Bluetooth Blueman and then hit enter and then when you get this message just type Y and hit enter and wait for the libraries to install And then install this library Python Bluetooth. For this, type this command sudo apt slash get install Python slash Bluetooth. And so as you can see, the Python Bluetooth library has been installed. And then type this command. To, uh, to use the uh, GPIO pins. And so as you can see, the GPIO libraries, library has been installed on my Raspberry Pi before itself. Now type this command. pip3 install pyblueis. And as you can see, the library has been installed on my Raspberry Pi now. And now, open the app called Thorny Python IDLE. And this code has been given in the description below. And in the first two lines of the code, we import the the Bluetooth library and the GPIO library and in this line we set the warnings to false so that we don't get any warnings 
and in in and this is the GPIO board scheme and so in in this case we are using the physical scheme which is recommended for beginners and so and in these four lines we are setting up the GPIO pins for the motors and so in this tutorial I'll be using the pins 8, 10, 3 and 5 and in and we are declaring these pins as output and then low at the beginning and the same goes for our buzzer and the LED and so the LED pin um, and the LED pin will be 15 in this tutorial and the buzzer pin will be 13 and this code is responsible for the uh, connection of the uh, Bluetooth client and the creation of the Bluetooth socket and and this is the function for left this for right this for forward backwards and stopping and so in this line we are declaring this one as the data received by the Bluetooth socket as the uh, as as the variable data and we are going to like decode the in data received because it's going to be in the form of bytes and we'll be printing whichever data we, uh, that it has received and so if and so this basically means if the data is f then execute the function forward else if the data is L then execute the function left and so on and the same for the buzzer and the LED but in case of the buzzer we are directly writing the code to like if the data received is capital X then it will uh, then then we'll be setting the GPIO pin 13 which is our buzzer pin to high which turns on the buzzer and then if the data received is small x it turns the pin 13 low which means our buzzer turns off and in case of the LED if the data is small l then it's then it adds a to the uh, one to the variable a and then if the if the variable a is 2 then it sets the variable a to 0 so if the variable a is 0 turns the pin 15 to low and if the variable a is 1 it turns the pin 15 high and so this is the code and so coming to the wiring and the connections of this project so these this diagram and this whole diagram has been given in the description below and so why uh, and to make uh, to make use of the motors using the raspberry pi you need a motor driver board and so if you don't have a motor driver board you can take a l 293 d which is a motor driver and then you can place it on the breadboard and make these connections and so what is what basically is a motor driver and why do you need it and so a motor driver is a small current amplifier whose function is to take a low current con current control signal and then turn it into a higher current signal that can drive a motor the l 293 d is a typical motor driver which can drive two dc motors simultaneously and so this is the pin numbering of the motor driver and these are the uh, like the uses of each pin and so you need to connect these two ground wires to the GND of the Raspberry Pi and this enable pin you see here enables this side to work and this enable pin here you see enables this side to work and so 
To enable this side to work, you need to supply this pin 5 volts and not more than 5 volts. If you supply this more than 5 volts, it may burn. And so this should be supplied 5 volts and this too to make both the sides work. And so this should be supplied more, not more than 12 volt, volts. So in this project, we'll be supplying 5 volts. And this VCC1 should be supplied 5 volts, not more than 5 volts. And this input pin you see here should be connected to the Raspberry Pi. And this should also should be connected to the Raspberry Pi. And so if this is given some current by the Raspberry Pi, it amplifies the current and then gives it, give, gives it out from the output 2 pin which goes to the motor and the, and the same happens here and this goes to the other pin of the motor and so it basically amplifies the current so that it can move front and same for this side and I hope you understood this and based on the pin uh, I mean the arrangement of these pins it's easy to like remember it and so um, the two output pins will be connected to one motor on this side and the other side will be connected to another motor and so like if input 1 is high output 1 will be high and then when out uh, input 1 is high output I mean input 2 will be low which means that input low automatically switches I mean output low automatically switches to ground and so this way and when like input 1 is high output 2 will be high and then input 1 uh, is low and then output 1 will automatically switch to ground and so th the same happens on this side and so this way we can make our motors uh, go like uh, front and back and like that before you continue and make the connections to your raspberry pi please make sure that you are not sh uh, short circuiting anything or there's no uh, connection between the or you are not connecting the GND and the 5 volts or the plus because the Raspberry Pi does not have any protection on the GPIO pins so it is easy to short them out and damage the Raspberry Pi or even kill it so please be careful before doing this and now on your phone go to the play store and download this app called Bluetooth Electronics This app's link has been given in the description below And then after it installs just Pair with your Raspberry Pi using the Bluetooth. And now, after connecting with your Raspberry Pi, open the app. And then, create a new controls. For that, just go to the pad section and then drag this here and then click on edit and then for and according to the program we have written in the raspberry pi f is the command for going forward and capital r is the command for going right and then capital b is the command for going reverse and then capital L for right and then set the release string as small s 
and then tap ok and then now we have to create a button for our LED and buzzer just click on edit and then set this as small l and then tap ok and then drag another button and this will be for our buzzer so in this case capital X will be for uh, sending the uh, command to turn it on and then small x will be used as a command for turning it off so it will be like a push button and then just run the code on the raspberry pi and then after you have started running it just click on the connect select bluetooth classic and then select next then select your raspberry pi then tap connect as you can see the app is connected to my raspberry pi then click on done and then click on run and this will work now